honestly, to me, if something looks stupid, we should be able to say such, just like a child would be able to say such if they thought something looked stupid. We should be able to ask questions like, why are you dressed like a clown? If somebody says something that's stupid, we should be able to call it stupid. It needs to be called stupid. To me, we kind of have a duty to call out stupid things. Just as many people feel it's their duty to call out systems of oppression. We all have things we think are important to call out. Yes, I'm sure that the things you focus on are much more important than mine. This isn't a contest. Calm down. One of the things that's had some of the worst effect on society when it comes to social media is the lack of a dislike button. Social media became a drug for people, that dopamine rush, with no worry about getting easy negative feedback. I mean, if the option isn't there, then the negative feedback won't be there, since most people aren't going to spend the time and effort that it takes to come up with the words to say something negative when there isn't already something, you know, negative there already. Now, if they had the dislike option there, you know, and they saw there were a bunch of dislikes, then they might have the, uh, the courage to say something negative about it, right? And some of you might go, oh, well, well that would be a bad thing if, if that went on. I was like, no, no, that would be a good thing, okay? What we've gotten as a result of the way social media has been has been a bunch of echo chambers, and an eventual expectation that other places be the same way as well. And when it doesn't, people retreat back to their online echo chambers, many being rather angry at the rest of the world. Social media made us actually far more antisocial because in real life, I mean, you don't get that many dopamine rushes, not those kinds of dopamine rushes, just out of regular talking to people. I mean... You get a lot more. <laughs> you, you get things that you can't get out of social media, but uh, you're not going to get these, these constant uh, positive feelings all the time. Oh, you, you took a shit today. Positive, positive, everyone, positive. Yeah, social media wouldn't have become that popular if there would have been dislike options. We would have had to have learned how to better deal with online bullying and how to deal with people who simply disagree with us. We've become weaker people, with slogans as convictions that fall apart at the slightest critique, the critique usually resulting in that other person unfriending and blocking. Social media wouldn't have become the drug it is for so many millions of people, hundreds of millions of people, if there had been a focus on being able to get both kinds of feedback easily, both positive and negative. And so, as a result of what social media has become and what it's done to society, the following rubbish messages are what are being perpetuated. Though, never quite this bluntly, of course. There's no such thing as ugly or stupid. There's no such thing as an unhealthy lifestyle. The more divided our society is, the more united we actually are. Being in a state of constant flux is our strength. It's the ultimate in virtue signaling, and it's what we're expected to spout off at almost any given moment uh, in one way or another. It's mentally exhausting, and it's destructive. Have a joy-joy day!